Less than two years after it went off the air, American Idol has set its return date on ABC for March 11th. Original host Ryan Seacrest broke the news on Live with Kelly and Ryan Monday morning, and Judge Katy Perry confirmed it on Instagram a short time later, posting a picture of Seacrest with the new three-judge panel, which also includes Lionel Richie and Luke Bryan. Auditions for the reboot have been taking place across the nation for the past three months at 23 stops, and the premiere episode will be a two-hour show beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The show, which debuted on the Fox Network in 2002 and quickly became a ratings juggernaut that spun off such megastars as Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, and Adam Lambert went off the air in April 2016 amidst sagging ratings and increased ratings competition from NBC's The Voice. Speaking of the reboot, back in October when the cast was first revealed, Perry said, The music industry is constantly changing. It's in flux right now. I think the great American dream, we can revive that in a way and show people that if they have the talent, if they work really hard, and if we can give them that lucky star and the combination of those three things, maybe we can give them kind of like a little platform to just shine. Coinage. Life well spent. Presented by GEICO. Spanning 15 seasons and over 550 episodes, American Idol is one of the most successful programs in the history of American television. But its success wasn't limited to high ratings on TV, as a number of its contestants went from relative unknowns to global superstars. Here are just five of the amazing success stories of American Idol. Carrie Underwood grew up in a farm in Oklahoma and hadn't even been on a plane before her audition, but she dominated season four of Idol. Her debut album, Some Parts, sold close to seven and a half million copies in 2005. As of 2017, Underwood's lifetime sales topped 16 million, and her work has netted her seven Grammy wins. Idol's first winner, Kelly Clarkson, set the bar for success for years to come. The 20-year-old Texas native's first album, Thankful, sold 2.7 million copies, and her lifetime sales are close to 14 million. Nominated for 12 Grammys, Clarkson's won three, and has topped Billboard's Hot 100 three times. I don't like Before Idol's third season, Jennifer Hudson was singing on a Disney cruise ship. And although she didn't make the season's top five finalists, she remains one of the program's most successful alumni, and not just in the music world. Along with her self-titled album Going Gold, Hudson's role in the film Dreamgirls earned her an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Fantasia Barino was once a high school dropout and a single mother living on welfare. Now, she's certified platinum. Her debut album, Free Yourself, has sold 1.8 million copies, and her single, I Believe, debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, which made her the first artist in history to debut in the top spot with a first record. Coinage. Life well spent. Presented by GEICO.